What's up, y'all? This is Hassan Nasser from iGeometry. Today, we are going to talk about inheritance. Not actual inheritance, obviously. Inheritance between classes. All right. Uh, so this this is really exciting. This is the explosion of object-oriented programming. And by the way, I have renamed this series from whatever the name was into this object oriented program because this is what we are actually talking about we're not talking we're not teaching a programming language here we're teaching a concept and this concept is the concept of object oriented programming so whatever you're learning from this series you are going to apply it to any programming language of your choice really so this is that's why I have renamed and changed all these pictures to object oriented programming are we recording yes we are yeah so let's get started so inheritance so so in, in actual war inheritance that uh, a certain person inherits uh, properties or inherits stuff from another person usually parents or relatives is is that whatever the parent has it will be passed out to the inheritee okay but this is actually different right because in the actual inheritance the person's who have the inheritance must die, you know, in order to pass out at least what I know, you know. You have to pass out whatever you have to the to your children or to to your dependents, if you will. In classes, if you want to inherit from a class, the class get to keep his stuff too, you know, he can use it. And you can use it too, and any other children can use it. So that's the concept of inheritance. And we're going to talk about it in the context of our lovely pizza bit system, right? The system that is going to end uh, world hunger forever, hopefully. So remember what we were talking about we were we introduced conditions Ugh, look at all these ugly statements Ugh, I hate conditions I hate of statements I hate them but sometimes they are necessary they're necessary evil that's what they are I hate of statements and especially when if statements are combined oh my god like if this is equal this and then inside that there is an if statement whenever you see that something really really weird is going on i mean no i mean whatever your algorithm algorithm is if me if you translate literally any algorithm into code it's going to end up with a bunch of like ugly if statements you know but don't take my word for it if you like if statements it's 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 your kinky things, okay? I I I don't judge, all right. So yeah, I I don't like them. So we're gonna get rid of all these goddamned if statements, all right? We'll replace them with beautiful polymorphism stuff and inheritance. We're gonna get to it. All right, let's run our program. See what we have here. So we have mm -mm, create new pizza. We can choose now the crust type, thick and thin the size of the pizza and then we can add stuff and we have inventory oh shit we did a lot of stuff man that's because of this statement out of chicken we don't have chicken beautiful nice 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 so that's that's a create pizza from scratch right so you start with a new pizza and you start doing all this stuff right uh, you can you select what cross type you want, and uh, but real world doesn't work like this. You know, there are some predefined pizzas that you want to ship for people to select from. You know, you don't want to leave it to the customer just to build their own pizza every time. 
You have to have some out of the box pizzas to select from, you know? So this is what we're gonna learn. Like for example, I want I don't want to think. Like I'm personally me, Hussein. I don't like options at all. Don't give me options. Give me what you have. I'm gonna select it. What's your best choice? I'm gonna select it. I don't like to think about menial stuff like that. Like we're gonna, what I'm what I'm going to eat, right? Give me options. I'm gonna eat it. Okay, of course I have some choice, but like like when I go to a restaurant and they give me all these bizarre options, really like organic or whatever, white or brown bread, thick or thin. You want cheese on the side. You want extra extra cheese with cheddar? You, uh, why all these options? Just package something for me. Give it to me. I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, I'm going to say no, I don't like it. Just to give me options, right? So uh, that's, that's uh, again, that's me personally. So Some people like, like my wife, she likes to know everything in her meal. I don't. Just give me other. Let me get her over. Let me eat and move on with my life. All right? So yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ship something, all right, for the use. So let's think of an example of pizza, right? What, what kind of pizzas do we have in the world, right? There's like tons of pizzas. Like I can think of uh, margarita. I don't know how to spell it. Don't judge me, guys. All right, I can think of chicken pizza, right? Whatever. Uh, supreme pizza or meat supreme meat supreme let's start with all these simple things right so let's say margarita doesn't have meat doesn't have meat or chicken right but it does have veggies right chicken pizza only chicken let's call it chicken and mushroom pizza right Chicken and mushroom. Like literally, this is what I have, and and it should be thin, for example, or you know, uh, this uh, this should be thin by default. And meat supreme is actually comes thick pizza uh, with meat, and that's it. And with the uh, onion, for example, that's it. That's that's meat supreme, right? So we have three pizzas out of the box. You have one option. Go make them every time, right? You want a margarita pizza? How can we make a margarita? It's thin, and then it's, uh, you, of course, you have to choose the size. That's not something customizable. I mean, that's not something out of the box. You have to choose the size. And, uh, for example, margarita, of course, has cheese. So this doesn't have cheese, for example. So it has a star over. By the way, we don't have a button to start over. That's embarrassing, guys. You know, that's really embarrassing. What the, the fuck? Okay. Yeah, we don't have a button to start over. That's embarrassing. We should have. All right, so thin, and small. I'm gonna make a margarita. Margarita only have doesn't have meat or chicken. Does have veggies and cheese. So let's say some portion of cheese, one portion of onion, and no, ch nothing of those. Uh, that's it. That's a margarita right there. All right, so what I want to do is like to spare these extra clicks and make something out of the box, right? So here where inheritance come, All right? So let's do that. So we can, so this is my pizza class, right? So the pizza class, it has a lot of properties. I have a lot of stuff, you know, methods and all these things, you know? So how can I leverage this, all right, and make something called margarita pizza? That's what I'm going to do. Add a new class. Don't embarrass yourself. Google margarita, margarita pizza. So we can know the correct spelling. Really? Fucking Yahoo. Margarita pizza, Google. Come on, Google. You can do it. A margarita pizza. That's what I do basically to correct my spelling. Don't judge me. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. You know my tricks now. 
can call the Margarita Pizza. All right, just another class, right? Save, and then tell it to inherit from pizza. Simple. It's gonna inherit everything from the pizza, right? So we got an error here because of the new, we got because of the constructor. So we got we gotta build that constructor, right? Now when I say just public sub new. I have to include the whatever properties we have there. Let me see if uh, this actually mm, sometimes just add it, adds it by itself. Nah, it doesn't. So we have to have the same constructor. Let's copy and paste. This is how you inherit. In C sharp, you inherit differently, right? You do it this way. Okay. So we have an inventory and we have a problem here because this is a private variable. Variable. This is a private variable. This is a private variable. You cannot access that. Why? Because this is what? This is a private variable in this class. It's called cross type, for example, right? And this is another class trying to access something from another class. So you can't access this, just period, right? So there is another keyword. We have public. We learned that. Public, you can access that everywhere. So if I change that in the pizza class, if I change that to public, it's going to work because everyone's going to just... Uh, don't embarrass me now. Oh, yeah. That's something else. We have to call my new. I'm going to explain that right now. So now, first thing... If you want to create a new margarita pizza, you have to initiate the original pizza. As that's you have to call the constructor of the original pizza, right? That's that's uh, just a, uh, right there a rule, right? So we're gonna talk about that now. So we have this, which is a public variable, and now you can remember there was there was an error now. Now, if I change back this to private, go to Margarita Pizza, we get an error, right? So, private, only the same class can access it. Public, everyone can access it. There is another keyword I didn't discuss, and that's called protected. Protected means, see, it worked. Protected only descendants from this class can access it. So inheritance, basically. Anyone inheriting from it can access it, right? So we can safely make those protected, right? Whenever variable need to be accessed from different class that is in the same line, would be protected. So some people say, okay, Hassan, what's, what's, what's the difference now? You, you made this class and you inherited from pizza. So this now, exact replica of the pizza. There is no change. It's no difference, right? We need to add our flavors now. So now, add your flavors, baby. So now, after you... Create your new margarita pizza. What will happen is that it will call this my base, which is the base of you, which is your parent basically, and create this new pizza. All right, it doesn't, it will not create a pizza class. We have to make sure, right? right? It will simply create an object of your class, but it will call the method to initialize everything in the class. You have to call that. That's just requirement. And then you do your stuff here. So what do we want to do here? What is so special about the margarita pizza? Simple. Back to our requirement. By default, whenever you create a new pizza of type margarita, that is, it must have cheese and veggies and no chicken and meat. Simple. I call add cheese. Remember, add cheese is a method inside the pizza class. And I can call it because I am in a inheritance right I am in the direct let's draw a Picasso right here so we have our pizza 
Wow. Coles gets me. <laughs> All right. So we have a pizza <laughs> class and we have a margarita pizza. So these guys are inheriting from each other. All right. Inheritance is actually not like that. It's a little triangle. All right, that's that's how is how in inheritance look like in UML. If you want to draw that, it's going to be like that. No, it looks like something else. <laughs> All right. So this is inheriting from this. So everything here is now here, right? Plus, it has its own stuff now. These stuff are not here now. It's only in the margarita pizza. I'm going to add cheese. I'm going to add onion. And what else we just said? Veggies, mushroom. So we have a mushroom. Add mushroom. We don't have mushroom? I could swear we have mushroom. Hmm, how about that? We don't have mushroom. All right, that's it. That's our margarita pizza right there. All right, so that's the beauty of this now. So now if I, we need to test that, right? So let's test, our testing is always running on this form low, so I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to create them uh, margarita pizza as margarita pizza equal new margarita pizza. And then we have to pass the inventory, of course. Where's that inventory? Where did we get our inventory from? Well, let's create a new inventory. Inventory, add a new inventory. By the way, this is a new method of creating. So you can directly create it as new, which is equal to this, equal to new inventory. You can do that, all right? Mm-hmm. So, there you go. And pass that object here, and there you go. You have a margarita pizza. Remember what it costs to make a margarita pizza? Let's test that. So, menu. I'm gonna make a thin, small. Uh, was it small? A uh, cheese, onion, and that's it. It costs four point one, right? For a small pizza, right? So we're gonna make here. What's the size of the pizza? Let's make it small. And then we get a message box, margarita pizza, but to get the price. Remember, I didn't add anything. I didn't call uh, a cheese or anything, but whenever I call this new, it will call these methods and it will add all this stuff to it. So when I say 4.1, imagine, how about that? We have ourselves an inheritance now. We have a margarita pizza. All right. So let's do something for fun now. So what do you think happens when I say this? Hmm? <laughs> I'm actually expecting an answer. <laughs> yeah. So this is two different classes, and I am trying to cast them together. So I'm creating a pizza class yet I'm assigning it to be a margarita pizza right so it's like you want to put something in a different thing right so usually this doesn't work and it gives you an error which is a type mismatch error uh, let's let's imitate this error okay. uh, but now in this case we don't have this error because these two are inherited are dependent to each other so they can you can cast this to this because this is a dependent of this right so you can even do that see no errors you can have your own methods that are only in applicable to margarita pizza we don't have this case now but believe me we're gonna do a lot of stuff so this is basically this is this is what they call polymorphism. So you can use this class and cast it to different interfaces and classes. And we're going to be so, this is so useful. 
really to an, an object-oriented programming we're gonna know that right we're gonna work on that all right so I want to break this error for example I'm gonna show you something that I'm gonna break this so what happened if I do this so I'm gonna be as pizza equal p inventory right T directly says well, what what the hell are you doing these are two different things you cannot do that you cannot assign them to each other you know that's the problem all right so we have a margarita pizza but it's no fun right to play with this in the load we we need it uh, we need it we need it in the form itself we need to work with it I want to be able to select my pizza and then populate the stuff of the pizza here mm hmm yeah that's yes, right that's what I'm gonna do so let's add let's call it hmm select pizza and this steal this what do you want to call it guys CMB pizza let's go just CMB pizza all right, so this is what I'm gonna do. Here, I want to select the pizza type, all right? And when I select the right pizza, I want to, uh, when I select the pizza, I want to populate this stuff with the pizza parameter. So what are the items for this? Let's see. Uh, we have Marga. So far, we have only Margarita Pizza here. All right. So we got items, Margarita Pizza. And then another option is called Create Your Own. So when I select, and this by default should be disabled, right? Or what? Uh, CMB pizza dot enable equal false or see so when I create a new pizza okay we didn't enable it we should when we have a look at that we should enable it Let's see yeah. CMB pizza dot enable equal true save when I double when I click that run let's see so when I click Uh, I'm gonna select for example margarita pizza what I want is that this should be populated with for example thin it should be related with the uh, whatever default choice I say small and then this should be <clears throat> this should be by default one one and then the price should be there 4.1 how can I do that let's see can I do that what do we have here we have all right when I select that on the select I'm gonna make an if statement here FCMP pizza again I hate if statement but what to do we're still very early in these episodes so we cannot just make shit up right we cannot just bring the new stuff we have to explain everything pretty and simply then the hell? if it was a margarita that is guy selected right then set the pizza remember we have a module variable here to new margarita pizza That's it. else set it to new pizza which is a normal plain pizza with nothing Inventory. Do we have an inventory here? Where do we get the inventory from? It's interesting. The inventory is here. Uh, I should move the inventory up so everyone can see it. Really? Mm -hmm. That is better. So when I do that and compile, we have an error here that can be easily fixed. We have an error here. Easily fixed. 
inventory. Come on, guys. Yep. Inventory. All right. So we created our pizza. The thing is that I want these to refresh. Do you remember? Did we have? We don't have a button to refresh every single thing, right? Unfortunately, it would be great though if we have like uh, one. We have to refresh every single thing, right? So uh, I need to copy this now for simplicity. So now on the form, when I select that, my pizza is getting initialized. If it's margarita pizza, choose that. Else, choose a pure pizza. And then change the label for the cheese to equal the pizza of the cheese portion by default. If it's a plain pizza, the cheese portion will be zero. If it's the margarita pizza, go to definition. See, we have a portion of cheese already set for us. That's the beauty of inheritance and object-oriented, guys. All right. So let's see. Does this work or not? Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It is zero. It is zero. Why? Why? I thought, I thought we add that cheese. God damn, son. Didn't we add that cheese? I thought we add cheese, son. Shall we add? We increase the, we decrease the inventory. What's wrong? Hmm. Let's see what we, we did. So when I choose a margarita pizza, it refreshes. This is 0 and 10. Although it should be 1 and 9 because we added a pizza. So this is where I need to debug and see what's going on really. So this is where we need to debug, guys. Okay, Debugging is the process of finding what is wrong with your code. So let's do that. You basically go to the right side of your green line here and you click on that. And then you click Run. And then basically that's it. When you start, when you select something, goes here and then you press F10 if I'm not mistaken oops not F10 not F10 <laughs> oh, this is old Mac man where you go not F5 you step into if it's F11 yeah there you go F11 so is it a margarita pizza Oh, what is that? Oh, it's called Margarita Pizza. That's why it went to L's, right? Got the error? The pizza that you select is called Margarita Pizza, and you're comparing it to a Margarita. So these, obviously, they are not equal, so I'm not going to create a Margarita Pizza for you. I'm going to create something else. So how to fix that? Just add damn pizza. I'm just so confident this will work. Oh my god. How about that, guys? But I also have onions, and I need to see what, what you're doing here, right? And I want to calculate the price, too. So get to it. Get to it. So LBL onion dot. Let's just steal code, right? Let's just steal code, because I'm just too lazy. Actually, I just returned from San Francisco. We have it trips every single weekend the family just love the US they want to discover everything in three months it's, I mean we've been here for three months and we already been to like a lot of like three states already we added some onions Yay! One portion of onion. That's greedy, son. Yeah, 
All right, so what we want to do now is mm -hmm, we want to select the pizza, we want to update the rest of the stuff, yeah. So we want to update the meat. It's really boring, but I know, guys. Some of you will say, hey, why don't you create a method? And so some of you who are experienced and watching, I don't know why if you're experienced, why, why are you watching this, but, but yeah, there are a lot of stuff I can do on to, to make this really easy on myself, all right? But I'm not gonna do it yet. We need to t talk about everything, all right, guys? Slowly, very slowly, we're gonna make everything. Then <laughs> I swear I'm not drunk. I'm just really tired after <laughs> driving for seven hours. All right, so chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Margarita gives you all this stuff. Create your own. Reset it. Poo. So this is what we're gonna do. You start with this and then you build on, right? So so you build on your pizza. So still you can select your pizza, but it's still you need to by default select that, select that, and calculate the price. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So by default, CMD size dot god damn it. So the text is equal the pizza that you selected that size. Simple. CMD cross type. There's no CMD, I think. That's a that is a typo. Uh, Mama Sita cross type. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, cross type, CMB. What else? We have. Uh, and yeah, calculate the price. So cal to calculate the price, it's basically we said LBO price, I think. Equal to pizza don't get price. Nice. Why did it? Uh, because we didn't select a size for the pizza by default, so still it goes medium. I go medium, calculate the price, go back to small, go large, Margarita. Nice. All right, guys, so this is we did that today. We explain about in, uh, inheritance. We can create so many stuff here, we can create another pizza we're gonna do them slowly slowly all right so i think uh these are enough information for you guys today I'm gonna sleep on it shall we that's it so we end here short episode no uh, yeah let's do that just end it here all right guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this so we talked about an inheritance nothing fancy here and we're gonna go from there to do so much fancier stuff, right? So that's the inheritance right there. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. And sorry it's really short, but yeah, I'm a bit tired. So enjoy and see you in the next one. Goodbye.